Victor told me all about the wedding. Really? Well, that's interesting, seeing as we haven't finalized anything yet, except I do know this for sure. You're not on the guest list. I would have thought marrying Victor would cure your terminal insecurity. But then, there are no guarantees when it comes to Victor. One slip, and you're out. Oh, you have not changed one bit. You're still the lonely, bitter woman who's only happy when you're making others miserable. There's no telling what damage you've done to that poor son of yours. Kyle is a well-adjusted, happy boy. Because unlike your children, he doesn't have an ex-stripper, pill-popping, alcoholic mother who bounces from husband to husband while he's shipped off to boarding school. Listen to you. You're, you're delirious. I love my children very much. In between rehab and men, I have been with my son 24-7 since the moment we left Genoa City. While you've been living off Victor's money, I've started a whole new life. I built a company out of nothing, and I raised that boy all on my own. And he feels safe and loved and secure. How dare you criticize my parenting? It shows how pathetic you are, putting me down to make yourself feel better. You may not have reached bottom yet, but you're damn close. Enjoy that takeout. <laughs> <laughs>